Hello, boys and girls. Right now, I'm going to teach you how to use this really new, fun website called Raz Kids. So the way I opened up this was by clicking on the Google Chrome application. Once you're here, you're going to click in the search bar and type in this address. H-T-T-P-S colon backslash backslash www.kidsa-z.com backslash main backslash login. And I'll leave that there for a second so you can see it. Then you're going to click the enter button. Once you get here, you're going to have to type in my username. My username is R Hanley H A N L E Y six two four. Okay. Then once you're there, you're going to click this go button. Now you'll see all your usernames here and your usernames are the same usernames as your iReady so that everything is connected and continuous. So I have this account here called Practice Student. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Your password is also the same as your iReady. So I'm going to type that in. And if you have any questions about that, I can send it to you in a private message. And you're going to click go. Now, here is the really cool part. This is your dashboard. And what I love about this is if you click on your avatar, you can build him however you like using these tools. And you can also change your background. Very similar to iReady. Okay. So now you see down here that this one costs 200 stars. This background costs 250 stars. Okay, I'm going to explain how to get those stars so you can go shopping. So the way it works is you head to reading and then you click on reading room right here. Now the best part about this is all the books that you're going to get are on your level. So each of you is going to have a different level right here. I went ahead and entered your reading level. So no book is going to be too easy or too hard. And you can view all the books you want here. There's all different categories up here. And then they put the popular books down here. So you can take your time and really pick which book you want. I'm going to read about the history of anime, okay? And you can decide if you want to read it on your own or have it read to and you listen to it, okay? So I'm going to click play because I'm listening to it. The History of Anime, written by Susan Lennox. Focus question, what is anime? And how has it changed over time? So now it turns the page for you. If you want to skip pages, you can go ahead and do that. Long before words existed, there were pictures. Early people used art to tell stories and share information. I'm going to pause it for a moment. Stone carvings, the images showed. Now what I love about this is you're going to read the whole entire book, okay? 
And once you really read and take your time and go slow, there's going to be a quiz about the book. And when you do good on the quiz, that's how you earn stars, okay? And there's other rewards like reading your first book and reading your fifth book and your tenth book. But that's how you earn points. So it's kind of similar to Epic, which we've also used in our classroom. Okay, um, one other tool I'd love to show you and your parents is there's books in Spanish for people to read. So if you um, live with someone who speaks Spanish, this is a great option as well. So on Fridays, I'm really going to hope that we can have fun and use this application. Just like everything else, it's new and it's going to take time to get used to. So let's be patient, but as always, let's try our best. If you have any questions, message me on Dojo or we can talk in the Google Classroom. Enjoy reading.